Welcome back, everybody. Today, we are going to go down to Benton, Kentucky to talk with one of my favorite couples in the RV industry. It's Roger and Anna Lee Ford, who are the president and vice president of Ford's RV Refrigeration Training Center. They've been doing some remarkable things in the area of uh, helping people learn to fix and repair RVs. And I asked them to come onto the show to talk about uh, some common problems that we're having in the industry over RV refrigeration. RV refrigerators have had a problem in recent years and that they're catching fire. And there are a lot of uh, a lot of finger pointing going on between who's responsible for that. Is it the RV refrigerator manufacturer? Is it the uh, RV manufacturer itself who, that is installing the refrigerator on the unit? Is it the RV owner for not doing proper maintenance and uh, not keeping their RV level when trying to use their refrigerator? What do you think the biggest problems are? Wow. Now, that's a story all to its own. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, we have, um, you know, actually there was a company hired because there were so many refrigerators fires with Dometic and Norcold. They were hired to research uh, and find out why this was happening. They eventually called us. So they called everybody they said they could find that serviced the RV refrigerator. Um, to make a long story short, that was about seven or eight years ago, and we have been consulting with them ever since. They actually purchased our manual and our tools to help them do their research. I have an opinion on why this is happening, and that's all it is, is my opinion. But I have, you know, it, it, I'm going to be honest, Greg, it, it, with this podcast, I, I don't think this is the place to kind of get into that. But the uh, industry is... I believe, working toward correcting that problem. I believe that's right. And the other side of that is, yes, there's been some fires, the cause of the RV refrigerator, but if you look on Consumer Report, you'll see that there has been thousands of fires caused by the home refrigerator in the home. In fact, every appliance in a home has caused thousands of fires, so nothing is perfect. <laughs> That's a good point, Roger. You know, we often point fingers at the RVs, our refrigerators for catching fire when, in fact, you know, everything probably has a cause for a fire. And you're seeing residential fires as well that are, are starting many, many times because of the microwave or many times because of the stove. Uh, I, I guess the refrigerator would also be uh, in that same TV, situation. Radios, oh, coasters, yeah. every appliance there is in a home has caused thousands of fires, according That's to Report. But the bottom line is the RV refrigerator is a dependable, multifunctional, perfect refrigerator for the RV. We, we have people tell us that they're, they have put, or they're going to put a domestic refrigerator in. The problem with that is that they're not made to be in an RV. They're not at all. <laughs> they, they're, they're, and, <laughs> they're made to be yeah, put in the house and sit there for uh, 20 years before it has to be taken out again. It's not bouncing up and down the highway, that's for sure. Exactly. And if the power goes out, they're going to lose their food because they, it's not going to switch to LP because there is none. Um, the, the RV refrigerator is what should be in an RV. And um, when they work properly, they are the best refrigerator. And that all depends on finding the right technician that understands the exactly. RV refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Correct. That's a good point. In fact, when it comes to identifying technicians, you guys have gone the extra level in your training and actually gotten to the state of Kentucky to be licensed as a school. Isn't, and, and what does that mean for people who want to take advantage of your training? Um, back in 2014, um, well, we had spent seven years trying to become a school and the problem that we kept running into is they kept saying well who trained you well nobody <laughs> you know, Roger figured all this out and we've been doing it since 1984 and then it was well what other school does this that we can compare you to well nobody we're the only ones we we created the wheel and for seven years, we kept trying to, to get this, and that's the wall we kept coming up against. And finally, the state of Kentucky said, well, you did create the wheel. There is no one to compare you to. There is no one who could have taught you. You are the one. So they finally agreed to um, license us. And because of that, we were able to offer our 101 
RV refrigerator reconditioning, a certification for that. In addition, we've added R102, which is just on the RV refrigerator controls only. So if RV owners want to know how to troubleshoot and replace controls, they can come for that training. If someone wants to know how to recondition the cooling unit, then they can come for the R101, which is a week course. Well, I think it would be beneficial, too, for RV technicians, especially mobile technicians who are looking to get into RV refrigeration repair, to come to your center to get certified so that that certification adds a little bit more credibility when trying to sell their services. Exactly. And, and in our training, that's something that we teach is how to sell this service because it sells itself. Mm-hmm. You know, our, we've not had one customer say, I want to spend more money and get less warranty. <laughs> Right. Can you warrant the repairs after they're done? Oh, yes. Um, Our cooling unit warranty is three years, and we have not had a warranty issue in over 10 years. Oh, wait a minute. That doesn't sound right because a brand new refrigerator is only warranted for one year, and now the repaired refrigerator is warranted for three? Sounds like a better deal to me. Correct. And that's why I say nobody says I want to pay more money and get less warranty. You know, we, we can recondition their cooling unit or actually do a trade-out when we've already reconditioned that we have sitting here and take theirs and give them a three-year warranty on that cooling unit. And uh, another thing that we do for our customers is if they have a very old refrigerator, we make sure parts are available for that refrigerator before we even consider reconditioning that cooling unit if that's what's necessary. Because we don't want to recondition their cooling unit and six months down the road them say, you know, come back with a part that's gone out and we can't get the part for them. Mm-hmm. So we're up front with our customers, totally honest, so that they know exactly what they're getting. They know what their choices are. We give them the choice between a new refrigerator, give them the cost for that. Um, if it's just the cooling unit that's the problem, then we give them a choice between a new cooling unit, give them the prices for that, and then our reconditioning. And they always choose the reconditioning because it saved them money and gave them a better warranty. Mm-hmm. Well, it's also good to have that kind of choice. So that's very, very ex- excellent. Ex-